turn 22 in this playthrough of Orb and Crown, and there are naval battles aplenty. There is the Dreadworm about to be destroyed, or at least sent back to his lair, and we have battles around the map. Let's see how the replay has gone. Okay, so I didn't commentate through any of that, but that's all right. Might do that a bit later on. Uh, you can probably make it out for yourself and have a relief from my voice. Of course, you can always turn the sound off on your computer if you don't like my voice. All right, so we have all of these um, diplomatic successes for... Now, <laughs> when I started this up, it was set in the uh, war in Europe. Um, normal settings so you can see that the names of countries have all been changed now that's a that's a pill because what what you really need to do and what I should have done is actually set the mod before coming into the, to, um, the replay so uh, now all of the country names are going to be wrong basically but that's that's okay we'll uh, we'll deal with it this turn now Nick has asked a question you can see in the top left why the Angford mines don't produce okay so let's let's go over to well I'll get out of this let's go over and the ones that he's talking about I think are these ones down here in Terzar or near Terzar and they don't start producing until uh, Castile falls so they are um, a way of producing extra uh, extra production for Angford once they get uh, get attacked. So I'll just reply to that question there. They're actually making sense, yes. So they don't produce until Angford is attacked or invaded. Um, extra war effort is what they represent. Okay, where are we at? Let's go straight to Draka, who is uh, still... <laughs> He's sending emissaries down to Guartenheim to get eight, and, and the Lich Lords down there are just laughing at him. Well, you got yourself into this, mate. You can uh, get yourself out of it. So, when Draka does eventually, his unit is taken off the, off the map, that doesn't mean that he has been killed. It might mean that he's been wounded, unlikely, but it's more likely means that he has just decided that it is time to leave the scene of the crime and uh, return to his horde, or if he can't get to his horde, which is around the Ymirin Vale here, he'll bide his time until he can become powerful enough to cause a nuisance again. But uh, this ancient red dragon ain't going anywhere uh, in a hurry. So, well... What's he going to do? He can't really attack. He can't do any damage. We can see that the the points are, are not going to do much at all. I'll try with these guys up here, but not succeed. Uh, and still no damage. So I'm just going to leave him to his fate there uh, and be rather merciless. And I will take back some of this, uh, this territory. Aha! There you go. My sneaky little garrison has found that there's still quite a few units down there from Moradon, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to be distracted from the fact that I am being attacked from Molkhan in the east, and I need to be prepared for that. 
because it will be quite uh, a quite an attack. I'm going to use up just about all of my production points at this stage. So that's okay. 70 left behind. Uh, I can use that on diplomacy, so I just might. Columbia, yes, I want Columbia on side. <laughs> All right, I know. I'm pretty sure that that is actually Sahagan, um, and I am not the USA on Guatemala, so I'm going to say yes to that, um, and move across to the Vikings. Who, who are they? The Vikings here uh, are the USSR. No, 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 they are not. They are Vikings. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> What are they going to do? They've got 240 points, and oh, I'm tempted. You know, I'm tempted to start the attack, but no, no, I need to build up my forces quite a bit. Let's put these guys out, out to sea as well. Get a little bit of experience, perhaps. Uh, and I'm also building that. So I was building, yeah, right, two elite units: one for North Delm, one for Mittelheim check the diplomacy they still haven't moved they really yeah they're a little bit proud these uh, these Viking nations they don't like the thought that they're being told what to do by Mittelheim they'll take it a bit from Nortdelm but not from Mittelheim there's a backstory of course for the reasons for that but anyway later uh, over to Andania all right so the the um, the mud has gone and I am going to, I could attack from that direction, from the sort of south and east, but I need a leader. So I'm just going to go around the long way. They are splitting me down the middle here. I don't like this. So I'm going to move across and try to cut him off at the pass. He'll either go for Cecilia or Jeanne de Mer, uh, but not too sure. Right, I can only do five points at a time, so they've gone up to eight from three. And I'm not going to attack yet. I really do need to wait a little while to get the leaders in place, to get the morale up to reinforce etc 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 and I'm going to purchase <laughs> not from Poland but from Andania um, and yeah even the see the the localization file has been used from war in Europe and not from Auburn Crown so um, not even a hundred percent certain which one is which? I think division must be, yeah, 250. That's the veterans, which is what I want. Uh, don't want specials. No, I want veterans. All right, these uh, elites can be deployed. Now, because I've got the giants here on site, I can now deploy from them as well. and. That's exactly what I'll do. I need to get this area around Guildford, uh, now called Daneskill by the Vikings. And that will do 189. Can stay there. Oh, now I said I was going to buy the explorers, and that's exactly what I'm going to do if I can find them. <laughs> Which one is it? That's them. Right, rocket artillery. No, dream on. Now I have two choices Dirk. Voltheim, I know he's a real character from history, or Ingrid Pullbeard. So um, let's let's go with Ingrid. Give her a chance to uh, do a bit of exploration and get up to the North Pole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to she's, when she uh, appears, I'm going to put her uh, probably from Trondheim. Give her a big farewell as her ships sail out from the from the port and escort her up to. Uh, the North Pole. Now what time of the year is it? It's May, so that's that's a good time of the year. That means it's going to be summer, which means that the ice is not going to stop her from getting through. But more of that 
later. And down to Potentia. Oh, ooh, let's do this now before I forget. It's getting a little bit dangerous down here now. I'm going to have a bit of a scout around though, because I just can't help myself really. See if... Yeah, no, I think he might have left. Which is what I'm going to do. I need to refit my navy. Where are these guys from? <laughs> Hungary? No, they are not. Yep, send them up here. I'm going to refit this navy before I actually do any more with them. Because even though I've bloodied uh, his nose, he's also bloodied mine. So uh, I need to be a little bit circumspect when it comes to that. Just get in here, ready to move. 505, I will purchase. Um, yeah, I'll purchase another one of those. Get the sixth cohort. Decent armor and not heavy bombers, no. Right, and 205. I've got 205. What can I do for research? Ah, I don't know what all of those things are, so I will leave that until next turn. Won't worry about it then. over to hopefully the getting close to the end of Chinua. That, that, that. Right, that, do that now. I was lucky I didn't lose this cavalry unit. Obviously being left on one point is not, not fun. Uh, now they have Three entrenchment. Still takes it down to two, even though it cost me a little bit. I'm not going to risk it again. Could easily lose two points in an attack there. I'm hoping that the Keshik will be able to finish them off. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Alright, so that should be enough to take out Chinua. And I'll now move off in the direction of Sanai. And what are they sitting on? They're on 48%. So they have, uh, they have moved uh, a decent amount. Three six three. I'll do that next turn. I think. Um, no, I'm going to leave that as well. Moving out now. Last time I forgot all about poor Nova Spez down here, uh, so it's probably a good thing that I didn't use all my all my points from before, so that I can upgrade them. Hopefully that makes up. Oh, look at that. Zero points left. That was perfect. Okay, moving back out uh, over here. He's got elites sitting there, so it's quite possible I will now lose those uh, elites. So I better think about moving down towards the capital of Amon Ra. I know I do have, um, yeah, I've got a leader and a 
veteran unit on the way for them so hopefully that will be enough because this is a pretty determined attack by the dwarves supported by a special unit here the uh, first profits so I think that's all I really want to do for this turn let's end it at this point And Darnia has been affected by plague. Uh, I think we lose around about a thousand, or might it be two thousand points of national morale? That's the reflection of the effect on the plague. And uh, Chinua has surrendered, and the Golden Carnate gets two hundred twenty-seven gold pieces. Nice. Um, I don't even know what that's telling me. <laughs> Someone has moved 15%. That's one of the one of the Viking colonies. Um, one of the Potentian colonies has moved 20%. And we've got invasion for the Vikings. That's good. I don't know what that is. And the our balance sheet is continuing to rise. You'll see that when we started off, we were barely getting 100 gold pieces. Uh, and now for Potentia, for example, we're up to 446. All right, well, I'm going to end this now because, uh, you know, I really want to see what the actual countries uh, are rather than the real world countries. I'll see you on the next turn.